we're going to discuss managing your duplicates in your database. Trailblazer requires the name and address match exactly before they can be merged. Now we do have some other tools where you can merge by SOS or by um, email address, but for the most part you'll be merging by names and addresses. Well, in order to do that, we have to make certain that the addresses themselves are all the same. So there are some steps involved in that. We need to first conform our addresses. Now, in conforming our addresses, we change things like street to ST, road to RD, and so on. If while it is doing the conforming of the addresses, it ends up matching an address that already exists, it'll merge the address, but that does not merge the voter donor record. Addresses are kept in a separate table. Uh, where we point to the address from the voter donor table, but we do not actually store the address in the same table as the voter donor. Therefore, addresses are treated separate from the voter donor record. The next thing to look at after conforming our addresses is to merge the addresses where there are differences between five-digit zips and nine-digit zips, or where there's a nation code on one but not the other. So that's a second step involved in merging our, our addresses. Then we get to, once we've completed address, merging. We can then move on to merging of the voter donor records and there's three methods for that. There's the automated process which I'll be showing you here. We also have a manual drag and drop process as well as um, afterwards finding those remaining possible duplicates in your database. Let's take a look at my database where I have some duplicate records in here and you can see that the differences in the records are mostly, in fact they're entirely, the address. 909 41st Avenue South 41st Avenue, where Avenue is spelled out. Over here, the zip code is a little bit different as well. So the first step I said we were needed to do was to conform our addresses. So I'm going to go in and do that first. By that, I'm going to go to my application menu, open up my address list. I've got a nice small database here. Now what I want to do is go through and, and have the database update all these avenues and lanes and boulevards and so on. From the file menu, I'll choose conform addresses. Read the dialog box. Once you're ready to go, click the OK button. If mine has completed, it didn't happen to create any merges of records, that's fine. I'm going to search again just to see how things have changed. And you can see 1042 Fillmore Street, 1010 LaFond Avenue. They look the same, but they're still not quite the same. There's a difference in the zip codes over here. So my next step is to down do another, uh, to go in and do a merge. So I'm going to do that from the file menu merge addresses and in my case what I'm doing is where the full zip is present in one and but only a five digit zip in the other. I'll click OK and as you can see it's now running through and it's merging uh, these addresses. When it's done 163 were merged. When I click search to refresh my list went from 300 plus down to 184. Now I can return to my voter list where I've got my duplicates, I'm going to search the database again, and now I'm going to see that I do indeed have multiple uh, addresses that are the same. I got a few that still aren't going to quite work, but that's okay. We can get back to that. So now I'm going to run my automated merge. To run the automated merge, I'll choose File, Merge, Merge voters where the name and home address are the same. So I will click OK and let it proceed. And you can now see that it's running through and merging my records. I'll pause the video while it's running this. The merge was completed and it merged 163 of my records together. I'll click OK. I'll do a search to refresh the screen. And now I have, you can pretty much see that everybody is pretty unique in here. Um, although the Nancy Anderson one did not merge. Well, it's because there was a problem with the address still up here. Well, now I can do what's called the manual drag and drop. So let's bring my document back over. So I just ran the automated merge on my voter donor records. Now I'm going to run the manual drag and drop method here. For that, I will take my the address that I want to keep and I'm going to take the other address and drag into it. So I'm going to take the tip of my mouse pointing at the address. I'm going to drag down and just release right when I get to the one that I want to keep. All of the information from the source voter will be merged or purged, depending upon um, how it fits in here. So anything in red is, is uh, the database is telling us that it's going to be throwing that information away. But had there been like a phone number over here where there was not over here, it would have just simply copied it over. 
I'll click that I understand that I am merging from source to target, choose OK, and I've now created one single record for Nancy Anderson. The automated merge is very good, but it can't do everything, so that's why we just did a manual drag and drop uh, on ones that I happened to spot as I was looking at it. But sometimes I'd like it to actually check the rest of the database for me and see if there's any other possible duplicates in there. Well, we have a tool for doing that as well. First thing I'm going to do is go back to my split screen where I can see my query panel up top and my results down below. So I have my entire database on my screen right now. I'm going to go up to the File menu and choose Find Possible Duplicates. Now you may certainly experiment with the various checkboxes in here and see what works for you. I have mine set so that I'm not including middle name or birthdays, but if you have middle names and birthdays that you want to compare, you may want to turn that on. Well, I will, I will include middle name because I, see, see, I do see middle names have been used in my database here. Number of characters in the address to include. I'm only going to look at the first eight or so characters because that's where you typically are going to find typically are going to find the duplication is going to occur is in those first few characters where it f starts to um, um, not be duplicated anymore is where it, there's different spellings of a, of a street name or uh, maybe there's a full word uh, full street spelled out or something but we've pretty much taken care of that through our conform. I can also check on first name's last name. How much do I want to compare on that? Well, I might want to check out the first eight characters of the first name followed by the first, oh, I'll say six characters of the first name. Now, you can leave those at the defaults if you like, and that'll work fine as well. When I click OK, it comes back and tells me that it found 14 possible duplicates. Let's take a look at those. I see, oh, Mary Bartlett. Yeah. Now, oh, there's the reason why it didn't pick it up before. It could not conform this address because the RD for road was right after the 3. It could not merge that. Well, again, I can do a drag and drop merge. Take that record, drag it into this one. Scroll down, everything looks good. I'll click the OK. And that is merged. Let's take a look at, oh, same exact problem. The RD was um, next to the uh, 3 there, so it it, it, it could not conform. Then I can do a drag and drop on this. Click the OK that I'm good to confirm. And I could proceed through the rest of my database that way. And you might see variations down here. Why did this one not merge? That's well, because the zip code is a little bit different over here. Um, so we might have to decide which one is correct. We may have to go look that up before we actually perform a merge on this. Here again, the words got munched together. The Drake Street Northwest is a better uh, version of that, so I'm going to take the bottom one and drag it up to the one up above it, click OK, and we're merged.